we were really very surprised about is the is the concern about what's happening on the economic front. Now people will say, you know, oh, it's the social issues. It's really not. It's about it's about Obamacare, how it's crushing businesses, how uh, there's uh, uncertainty when it comes to regulations and taxes, and when it comes to uh, high cost of energy, the lack of employment opportunities, especially up north country, dealing with some of the economic issues and challenges that they have, and then tying it all into what's happening with the lack of uh, really cooperation and lack of attention to detail in Washington. You have a totally dysfunctional Senate and the House. They've basically stopped working together. And how do you get anything done? So as someone who's a former senator, listen, I was an assessor, selectman, state rep, state senator, United States senator. And having an opportunity to have won 11 prior races and, and step back for a year and actually see what's going on in a larger scale and and actually have a chance to mature as a man and actually grow and learn even more and then say, my goodness, it's completely broken. They're completely dysfunctional. They're only looking out for their own personal partisan political interests. They're not looking out for the country's interests. They're not putting your interests first. They're adding more regulation, you know, whether it's cap and trade, whether it's dealing with our 17 plus trillion dollar deficit, you know, having a debt, a national debt, national debt of 17.5 trillion dollar give or take national debt, running trillion dollar deficits. And when they got it under a trillion dollars last year, they were patting themselves on the back, it was 800 billion. If you ran any one of your businesses like that, mom and dad's business like that, forget about it, you'd be out of business. And when you look at what's happening and who's responsible, remember, you, had, you have a senator right now, Jean, listen, a, a, a nice person. This isn't about whether she's nice or not, nice person, I worked with her. We served on Armed Services commi uh, Committee together, done a couple of things together. But she is a Washington insider. She has voted 99% of the time with the president this year, 100% last year. She was the deciding vote on Obamacare. She voted against every grandfathering amendment to allow you to protect the health care plans that you know and like. Guys, come on in. I want to grab a sandwich. There's a chair right over here. Some water right here. We just kind of started. Hi. 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 Um, voted for every tax increase. I believe that she's really has lost touch with the values of the people of New Hampshire. So let me just address a couple of things right away. When it comes to like, why am I running and who am I? I think that's important for you to know. Like you and many others here, uh, Gail and I have uh, long and strong ties to New Hampshire. Uh, if you saw the PolitiFact article of the fact check, you know, when I said I'd go back nine generations, yeah, Gail actually visited the cemetery where the Mathis family is over in Dover. The, our family tree goes back that far. Um, I was born, my mom was uh, a waitress at Hampton Beach, which many of you know, and my dad was here, right here on Pease Air Force Base as an airman. And they met, they fell in love, they got married, and they moved over to Islington Street, they had me. I was born at the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard, which then was part of Portsmouth until the recent court decision. I, quite frankly, as well as many others, believe it still is Portsmouth. <laughs> and uh, I know the legislature feels the same way. So that being said, my first years of life were here in, on Islington Street, right? Uh, obviously, um, you know where it is. So to have those long and strong family ties of my grandfather and grandmother, taking me through Strawberry Bank and, and walking down to Prescott Park and doing all the things that you all do each and every day of your lives. 